Nais ko maging bahagi ng isang adhikain At maging isa sa gawaing makajosa at masaya Paglilingkod sa Diyos at kapwa Sa ikalawang parokya ng Pasay Kaisa ng Birheng Maria Our Lady of Sorrows Pagpapala mong lubos Sa krus ni Kristo Jesus Na iyong anak kami tinubos Sa patubay ng Espiritu Banal sa aming buhay At kain ng Maria Ang bagong Eva na mapagkalinga Viva! Let us pray, the angels. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. 
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech you, O Lord, Lord thy your grace, grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, resurrection through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginnings, now, and will be forever. Amen. Together, glory, glory be, be to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. As it was in the, the beginning, is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of healing and good health of Father Ramon Manalo, SSP, Father Arthur Palisada, SSP, Father Joel Baguna, SSP, Father Joseph Devilio, SSP, Father Arman Tangi, SSP, Father Pete Barisoro, SSP, Father Resti de la Peña, SSP. Manahan Peruel, Louis and Lourdes Clem, Patrice Ancese, Letlet Salcedo, Catalina Paz Aguilar. Special intentions of Dominador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tan and family, Peruel, De La Peña, Santos Hildes, Alegre families, Alex Sadambana contributors, Marisa Boitis, Feli Kiambao and Kiambao Security, Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Codaira, Jello and Elaine, Paolo, Marlo, Orlando, Ngo Ang Si, Jing Flora, Patricia Ann Espulgar, Maria Janeline Peralta, Mayor Vicky Lim, UST Reunion. For the eternal repose for the soul of the following, Carmelita Guzman, Lutgarda Nerlinda, Angelica Nestalita, Alfonso and Blandina, Gregorio, Roll Jr. and Corazon, Brother Dominic Egida, SSP, Carlos Beher, Rogelio Beher, Anthony Dulier, Amil Serrano, Marimichico Yuda, Thelma Dizon, Edna Flora and Winston Flora, Victor Serrano, Lolita Baya, Jose Morales, Sara Morales, John Lawrence de Gondong, Manuel U.D., Guillermo Maleno, Engelbert Lillian Sr., Leandro Flora, Rogelio Galsim, and All Souls in Purgatory.
Magandang umaga po mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Ialay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, devote at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay aalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, ang Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father Boy Castro Jr., SSP. Tayo po ay makiisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. Tingin mo lawat ang gabi Ang alim ang mapanan ang pitan Limuti namin magsuway Ibisin namin kasama Inamin kasalanan Para magkamahatulan Naway mawat mahaba Ayon sa dapat mong pagmamahal O Diyos, ang kasal mo ako Sana ako ay limutin mo Inisin mo ng maging Pusi lang itong puso Buksan mo ang aking labi Upang sa'yo ako'y magpuri Isisigaw ko ng kailakas Tulot ng iyong paglilikas Ang nanay ko ay di dapat Kung puso'y palagot hamay Nagsisisip mapagkumbaba Ang handong ay kay nalulugod O Diyos, kawal mo ako Sa lahat ko ay limutin mo Ligisin mo ng maging Pusid ang itong puso The Lord Jesus has called and gathered us together to celebrate this Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, uh, good morning. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate a fourth Sunday of Lent, also known as Litare Sunday. We have... Uh, reach um, beyond the midway of the Lenten season and um, and our uh, and our mother church uh, celebrates this uh, Sunday as um, as a reminder that um, um, the Lenten journey ends with the glory of the resurrection. Um, letare comes from the Latin word to rejoice, and um, in uh, this is the these are the first words of uh, the entrance antiphon um, that, of course, today we have replaced with a opening song, and. Um, the entrance antiphon declares, Rejoice, Jerusalem, and all who love her, be joyful. All who are mourning, exult and be satisfied at her consoling breast. Magsaya, magdiwang, magalak. Ito ang diwa ng um, letare. Um, at... Um, Ito ay pinahayag natin sa pamagitan ng, uh, uh, ng kulay na rosas uh, sa, sa halip na violet. No? Uh, this is a day in the Lenten season when uh, even instrumental music is permitted 
and the altar may be decorated uh, with flowers. Um, and um, we bring before the Lord um, on this uh, Letare Sunday all the intentions we have just announced and that this, um, let me add the let me add the special intentions and thanksgiving of the Uya Nong Choco families uh, Carlos Gonzalez, William Kuun Jing Carlos Ailis and Carlong Choco, the recent Christ Catholic community members and their families, the Lara and Rojas families and the families of Maxima Villa Reyes, Briggs and Juan Escaño, Mona and Cecil Clemente and Mark and Rudy Juan Son. We continue to pray for the healing and good health of um, priests, brothers, uh, sisters, and members of our uh, of our. Um, religious community as well as our our parish and uh, in a special way for the healing of Father Doji Asuncion, Leonor Kent, Lani Bartosilio, Albert Aquino, Rolando Alarva, uh, Nerissa Sarmiento, Hazel Indiques, Jimmy Laguesma, uh, Socorro Abad, uh, we, as well as Dominador Guzman Sr., Matet Guzman, Teresita de Guzman, Marieta Secchio, Edna, Dani, and Weng Eriga, uh, uh, and Charles Eriga. Regia Asteria Reyes, Maris Galinap, Maris Milita Salcedo, Lucia Cassin, Perla Saldajeno, Dongan Joy and Julio Carlos Roas Lara, Joy de la Rosa Ando, Che Aniceto, Tess Laguesma, and Bernard Laguesma. We continue to pray for the deceased members of our uh, family, of our religious communities and our families. Um, and we pray in a special way for Brother Dominic Ejida, uh, Father Joven Lagdamen, Rogelio and Carlos Bilaga Vijer, John, Lor John Lawrence Lagundong, Elinda Panesales Yanson, Andrea De Vera, Evelyn Reyes, Joel Sanas, and Virginia, Virginia Tian Singh, Narcisa Yi uh, Junicio and Julio, Carmelita Guzman, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Manuel Recto, Anita Aban, Noel Tuason, Lourdes Lourdes, Lado Figueres, Camilo Laro Reyes, Ricky Villa Reyes, uh, Ben Reyes, Amor Balbon, Tudora uh, Ting Sun Ding Lasan, uh, Medina Tapang, Rosalina Marquez, Jumedis Tanyesa, Pacifica Salcedo, Doris Bautista, Melissa Medina, Luis Hernandez, and Espiritu Santos Balasita. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess so to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, to the word, reconcile the human race to yourself in a wonderful way. Grant, we pray, that with prompt devotion and eager faith, a Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading, a reading from the second book of Chronicles. In those days, all the princes of Judah, the priests and the people, added infidelity to infidelity, practicing all the abominations of the nations and polluting the Lord's temple, which he had consecrated in Jerusalem. Early and often did the Lord the God of their fathers, sent his messengers to them, for he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his warnings, and scoffed at his prophets, until the anger of the Lord against his people was so inflamed that there was no remedy. Their enemies burnt the house of God, torn down the walls of Jerusalem, set all its palaces afire, and destroyed all its precious objects. Those who escaped the sword were carried captive to Babylon, where they became servants of the king of the Chaldeans and his sons, until the kingdom of the Persians came to power. All this was to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. Until the land has retrieved all its lost Sabbaths, during all the time it lies waste, it shall have rest while 70 years are fulfilled. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, King of Persia, All the kingdoms of the earth the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me, and he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem which is in Judah. Whoever therefore among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up, and may his God be with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my tongue be silenced if ever I forget you. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land we hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. For there our captors asked us the lyrics of our songs, and our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not, if I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, brothers and sisters, God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, 
even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Raised us up with Him and seated us, seated us with Him in the heavens of Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, He might show the immeasurable riches of His grace in His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are His handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, King of Paradise. Spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may clearly be seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Napakarami pong magagandang verses sa Biblia. May kanya-kanya tayong paborito. Araw-araw ay may nagpo-post ng Bible verses sa Facebook, sa YouTube, at iba pang social platforms as prayer, as um, um, desires for healing, and for inspiration. Subalit, ang pinakasikat yata, ang pinakadakila ay bahagi ng Ebanghelyong ibinhayag natin sa linggong ito. God so loved the world that He gave us His only, that He gave His only Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. 
God did not send His Son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Ang mga katagang ito ay may natatanging kahulugan para sa ating mga Filipino Catholics. They take us back to 1995 the, during the celebration of the World Youth Day in the Philippines with the Pope John Paul II. They were the opening, the, were the opening lines of the theme song that echoed to the entire celebration and even beyond, tell the world of his love. At ito'y naging action song na kinagali, kinagiliwan natin. Hindi nakapagtataka na ang mga katagang ito ay tinatawag na Biblia sa loob ng Biblia. The Bible within the Bible, para bang summary ng mensahe ng buong Biblia. Dalawang katotohanan ang ipinahahayag nito. Una, ang ating kaligtasan ay dahil sa pagkukusa ng Diyos. May mga preachers na minsan naglalarawan sa Diyos na parabang isang pulis na nagbabantay sa bawat kilos ng tao at may parusa sa bawat pagkakamali at kasalanan. Nakahandang ipadala ang, ang impyerno, uh, ipadala sa impyerno ang mga makasalanan. Parabang God is more interested in condemning than in saving. Subalit, sinasabi ni Juan uh, sa, sa Ebanghelyong ating pinahayag na sinugo ng Diyos ang kanyang anak hindi upang hatulang maparusahan ang sanlibutan kundi upang iligtas ito sa pamamagitan niya. Ang Diyos ang nagkukusa at laging gumagawa ng unang hakbang Walang humiling sa Diyos, ngunit nilikha niya tayong tao. Nang magkasala ang ating unang mga magulang, hindi pa man sila humihingi ng kapatawaran, ay kusa na, niyang, uh, kusa na siyang nangako ng tagapagligtas. Sa paulit-ulit na pagkakasala at paglayo ng kanyang bayan, bayang Israel, ang Diyos ang unang nananawagan para sa pagsisisi at pagbabalik loob sa Kanya, mas entresado pa ang Diyos kaysa sa tao na maligtas ang sangkatauhan. Ito'y uh, tinuturing ni San Pablo na grace, everything is grace. By grace, you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, it is the gift of God. It is not from works so that no one may boast for we are His handiwork. Ikalawa, ang pagkusa ng Diyos ay dahil sa pag-ibig. Iniligtas tayo ng Diyos dahil mahal na mahal niya tayo. Ang Diyos na lumikha ng langit at lupa at nagsabog ng mga bituin sa kalawakan na may hawak ng lahat ng nilikha, gayon na lamang ang pag-ibig, kalinga at malasakit sa atin at inilagay sa ating kamay ang pinakamahalaga niyang pag-aari, ang bugtong at pinakamamahal niyang anak. Still, as one author puts it, God did not die, Jesus did not die to appease an angry God nor through His torture and terrifying death to atone for sin. What God would, ultimate, would not ultimately ask of us, God freely gives. The Father sacrifices His Son, Jesus, His only Son, the one whom He loves. Gayon na lamang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa sanlibutan, 
kay ibinigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak upang tayo ay hindi mapahamak kundi magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ibinigay niya ang kanyang anak upang mapagtagumpayan natin ang ating mga kahinaan at limitasyon uh, at kas, uh, kasalanan at kamatayan at mabuhay sa kanyang presensya sa langit. Palibhasay lahat tayo ay makasalanan, hindi natin kayang umahong mag-isa sa putik ng, kasad, ng kadiliman at kasalanan. Kailangan munang maging tao ang anak ng Diyos at sa pamamagitan ng kanyang malaya at auspusong pagsunod, inialay niya sa Ama ang kalugod-lugod na handog ng Diyos. Yun ang nag-ayos ng nasirang ugnayan ng tao at ng Diyos at nagbungkas para sa atin ng pintuan ng paraiso. Ito ang larawang nakikita natin sa unang pagbasa mula sa ikalawang aklat ng mga kronika. Sumama ng sumama ang mga pinuno ng Huda, ang mga saserdote at mga mamamayan. Nakigaya sila sa nakaririmarim na gawain ng ibang bansa, pati bahay ng Panginoon na itinalaga niya sa Jerusalem ay kanilang itinakwil. Gayunman, dahil sa habag ng Panginoon sa kanila, lagi niyang pinadadalhan sila ng mga sugo. Ngunit, Hinahamak lamang ito at ang mga propeta ay pinagtatawanan minsay pinapatay. At ang resulta, mga kapatid, bumagsak ang bayang Israel sa mga kaaway. At ang bayan ay dinalang bihag sa Babylonia. Doon inalipin sila ng masakop ng Persia ang Babylonia Pinukaw ng Panginoon ang kalooban ni Haring Siro ng Persia upang ibalik ang mga Israelita sa kanilang sariling bayan. Kumbaga, sa gitna ng matinding pagkalugmok ay namanaag ang liwanag sa kadiliman. Ito ang sinasabi ni San Pablo sa ating ikalawang pagbasa. Napakasagana ang habag ng Diyos at napakadakila ng pag-ibig na iniukol niya sa atin. Sa kabila ng personal at pangsosyal na pagkakasala, nananatili ang magandang balita ng dakilang habag at pag-ibig ng Diyos. Inilalahad nga ng salita ng Diyos para sa linggong ito ang pagiging tagalunas o tagapagpagaling ng Diyos para sa kanyang bayan. Siya mismo ang gumagawa ng paraan upang makabalik tayo sa Kanya sa kabila ng pagkukusa nating lumayo at tumalikod sa Kanyang kalooban. Ito ang larawan ng tansong ahas sa lumang tipan na ini, iniuugnay uh, sa anak ng tao. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. Sa pagtataas kay Jesus sa krus, pagagalingin niya ang daigdig. Ang pagtitingala sa Kanya sa muling pagkabuhay ay magdadala ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ito rin ang misyon. Ito ang misyon ng anak ng Diyos na ipinadalan ng Ama dahil sa kanyang dakilang pag-ibig. Sa pagpapatuloy po natin ng ating paglalakbay, itong panahon ng kwaresma, alalahanin natin na ang misyon ni Jesus ay misyon rin natin. Tayo ay um, tayo ay um, Pinagpala ng Diyos upang tayo man din ay maging lagusan ng pagpapala sa lahat ng ating paligid. Or as, uh, as we put it in the, in the theme for 
500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, we are gifted to give. Amen. Please all stand. We now renew and proclaim our faith. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son our Lord, Lord who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Sunday is the Lord's Day. We adore Jesus, the risen Lord, our only Master, our way, our truth, and our life. In Him, through Him, and with Him, we glorify, thank, and petition the Blessed Trinity, even as we pray, Jesus, Master, we trust in You. Jesus, Master, we trust in You. Jesus, You are the Word incarnate sent by the Father to instruct us in life-giving truths. May the Pope the bishops, priests, teachers, preachers, and formators in the church always submit their hearts and minds to your gift of faith and reason. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, we, we trust, trust in you. you. Jesus, you are the beloved of the Father, the sole way to him. May Christian families, fathers, mothers, children, take you always as their model, to follow in the various periods and events of life. May everyone grow in faith, in hope, and in charity. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust in you. Jesus, your earthly life is the example of highest perfection. May our, ch may our church servant leaders, Eucharistic ministers, lectors, music ministers, other liturgical ministers, and all leaders and members of various parish organizations. Follow your footstep of humble self-giving in service, expecting nothing but your eternal rewards. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust in you. Jesus, you, you came to give abundant life by your death and resurrection. May all the leaders and members of our basic ecclesial communities, nourished by baptism, the Eucharist and other sacraments grow in love for you and for one another with their whole mind, strength, and heart. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust in you. Jesus, the angels sang the reason for your incarnation. Glory to God and peace to all people. May persons in the work of media, of social communications, health frontliners, and other service frontliners be filled with zeal to improve human life against the threat of error, illness, epidemic, and violence. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust in you. Jesus, you always had compassion for the sick, the disadvantaged, and persons in the margins. Answer the needs of the poor, the sick, the refugees, and the homeless, and kindle person in social work in, gov in government service and in church charities to act on behalf of these members of the flock. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust, trust in, in you. you. In silence, let us pray for our personal and community needs. We pray, Jesus, Jesus Master, Master, we trust, trust in, in you. you. Eternal Father, Sanctify your church gathered in Sunday worship. Look after our material and spiritual needs. Fill us again with the gift of your Holy Spirit. 
In the name of Jesus, our Master, forever and ever. Amen. and sisters may sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church we place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy O Lord praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. We have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Santo, Santo, Santo. Oh, 
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time was betrayed that entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, all missionaries, all religious, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Lord, especially Brother Dominic Ijida, Father Juben Lagdamin, Father Socrates Montialdo, Father Nicomides Riporiel, your servants, Dennis Tamisin, Nelson Lim, and John Lawrence Dagungdung, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially the deceased members of the Pauline family, the deceased members of the Oblates of the Holy Spirit sisters, Anita Avan, Carmelita Galdones Guzman, Ricardo Guzman Sr., Anthony Uson, Manuel Recto, Jorge Landoy, Gloria Landoy, Rimos Landoy, Luisa Kapinpuyan, Antonio Layag Sr., Remigio Lenterna, Alan Jasper, Feliciano Marquez Sr., Rosalina Marquez, Lutgardo and Erlinda de la Peña, Medina Tapang, Pedro Magbanwa, Elsie Mantaring, Elsie Corazon Hipolito, Marcelino Carlos and Rogelio Beher, Francisco and Epipanya Beher, Rolando Bilardo, Rodolfo Riamelio, Roberto Bandola, Robert Balderrama, and Marilo Ocampo, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Mother Dolorosa de la Pieta, with Saint Joseph, 
her most chaste spouse, protector of the universal church, with Peter, James, and John, and Andrew, and Paul, blessed James Alberione, blessed Timothy Jacardo, and blessed Elena Guerra, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, and St. Pedro Calungsod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching be there to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Sandy Buddha, 
This is Jesus. He is our life and resurrection. Blessed are we who are called to receive him in this banquet of eternal life. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who cannot receive the Holy Communion, especially the sick and the OFWs, join us in praying the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. de un instrumento de la voz apache. A 
us to console, to be understood, as to understand, to be loved, as to die. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who enlighten everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all sincerity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please kneel uh, for the blessing um, the bless of the most blessed sacrament. Look upon those who call to you, O God, Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death and bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Magkakaroon po tayo ng second collection para sa alay kapwa. Proceeds will be used for our sick, homeless, poor, and needy brothers and sisters. Sa March 16 na po, ang kumpisalang bayan sa Sabado pagkatapos ng 6 p.m. Mass. Meron po tayong Sunday regular confession schedule, 8.30 a.m. to 11 a.m., 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Dambana funds ongoing projects. Tuloy-tuloy po ang paggawa natin sa mga facilities ng parokya, ang 200-seater assembly formation hall ay nangangailangan po ng roofing at ceiling materials, floor tiles, electrical installation para sa lights, ceiling fans, at sound system. Kayun din ang restoration ng Senyor Nazareno ng OLSP, 
Inaayos po ngayon ang entarna ng mukha at kamay, isang bagong stainless na karosa, bagong krus, bagong damit at metal na koronang tinik at sinturon ng matandang imahen. Pakibigay ang inyong donations at love offerings sa parish office. Bukas po araw-araw, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at humingi na acknowledgement receipt. Pwede rin magdeposito sa Metro Bank account or Lady of Sorrows Parish. Checking account number 2917-2918-22793. Pakisend sa Messenger account or Lady of Sorrows that parish ang screenshot ng inyong deposit slip. Invitation to serve sa mga nais magsakristan, dapat po 10 years old pataas na kapag First Communion na. Sa mga nais maging lectors at commentators, 16 years old pataas, bihasa sa pagbabasa sa English at Filipino. Sa mga nais maging ministers of Holy Communion, pakisubmit ang baptismal at confirmation certificates. Kung kasal na, pakisubmit ang certificate of marriage. At para po sa lahat makipagugnayan sa parish office, pakiiwan ang buong pangalan at contact number. Maraming salamat po. Please all stand. Naibigay na po ang pagbabaspas mula sa Santisimo Sacramento. We have celebrated the Eucharist um, on this Letare Sunday. Let us go in the peace, the joy, and the love of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Thanks be to God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City, Mula sa mga pare ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po, God bless you, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you.